Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is ri absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe this. I was in the game. You can see here, I was playing some PvP on the Korean servers. Then I get pinged on the Discord that they've done a, you know, they've done a tweet. Amazon Games has done a tweet. And then what do we see? We see that they're giving us a, a news blog. And it's basically trying to say to us that um, Throne and Liberty is getting delayed. Yes, you heard that right. Throne and Liberty is being delayed. I have no idea. I have no words how they can even delay a game that is running perfectly fine over in Korea. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I am slightly annoyed. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm basically trying to keep this PG. So I'm not going to swear, but you can imagine what I would love to say. But yeah, anyway, let, let's let's just read this. Let's see what information they're going to be giving to us in for the reasons of the launch timing. So we want to thank all the players who began their journey in Silesium during the open beta. Your participation and feedback has been invaluable as we closely collaborate with NCSoft to drive changes that reimagine Throne and Liberty from its original launch in Korea to our launch in Amazon Games supported regions. Additionally, we've seen a surge of excitement from players surrounding the latest major patch in Korea, which introduced a variety of updates and systems. We are committed to delivering the best possible player experience at launch. And as a direct result of player feedback, testing efforts, and the reception of the new features, we will be making key changes to the, to the game. Our team, uh, our team began work after the open beta, but fully implementing community feedback and integrating new systems will take additional time. I'm not really sure what additional time you need to take when the when the game has already been done. The game is already here, and the game is already. Um, translated for you so i'm not really sure what they're talking about but anyway to give our team the time needed to incorporate the most critical pieces of feedback and systems we have decided to move the throne and liberty launch to october the first with early access now starting on september the 26th below you dive into the specifics of the updates we're implementing to ensure throne and liberty provides the best player experience possible at launch Okay, <laughs> so launch game updates. Updates based on player feedback, combat. We will be working on combat updates that improve the early game combat experience for players, bringing it more in line with the strong positive sentiment uh, we received around the late end game combat. The uh, improvements include improved camera controls to, re to remove smoothing, an optional setting, and increase camera movement speed adjusting the skill acquisition timing to give players access to varied abilities and builds early in the leveling journey, improving the intuitiveness of the tab targeting. So basically we're going to, what they're basically saying is the current patch that I am playing, and if you're playing as well on the Korean servers, for our launch server, we're gonna be getting this exact patch. Now I've not been funny, but they kind of we already and we already knew slash assumed we were going to be getting that patch. So I'm not really quite sure what the heck is taking them so like the extra couple of weeks. Like it's very 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 bizarre to me. Um, maybe this has got something to do with the fact that the New World open beta was basically happening during the exact same time as the uh, Throne Liberty early access. Could it be that? We don't really know. Leveling and progression. We heard feedback from the open beta participants that they felt overwhelmed by the amount of systems that they were quickly introduced to in the early stages of their journey when leveling. We're adjusting the progression journey to better spread out the introduction of systems, allowing players to focus on their early questing experience and learning the ins and outs of their character and combat before diving into too many additional systems. Now, okay, guilds. Throne Liberty is better together. We know that as a guild, you get more out of unique modes like Castle Siege, more, you know, you travel the open world, uh, better content with hostile players. We're expanding the tagging available to guilds. Well, hold on. So that players can more easily find guilds that align with their playstyles. What do they mean by tagging available? Are they trying to say that they're going to... Um, 
extend how many guilds you can have be ally allied with because that is a that is a big l if that's what that means no 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 amazon games if you see this video if that's what that means do not extend the alliances if that's what that means um new features we're excited to announce that we will bring forward some key changes from the existing Korean version of Throne of Liberty. The three systems listed below aren't a comprehensive look at every change we're including, but these updates are a few we know engaged fans and are eagerly anticipating. There will be additional quality of life and other changes included alongside these systems, and even more will be added post-launch. So we're getting the skill specializations, which we've already know. I've already got a video on that. Um, so it'll be implemented for launch, which I'm not being funny. I we this was a, this was a no-brainer in my opinion. Most of us um, in the community thought we were going to be getting this on launch. So it sounded like we wasn't, but now we know for sure that we are. Uh, we're getting the life skills, so the fishing, the cooking, the amatoy uh, hunting. Again, I already have a video on my channel going through all three of these life skills, so check that one out if you haven't seen that one already. Uh, so the fishing showcase and then the amatoy hunting. It's a new system that allows you to send your amatoys on adventures. Yeah, we know that. And then it says, obviously, looking forward, there are even more changes and updates that will arrive in Throne of Liberty in the future and closer to launch. We'll have a team update that discusses the first two months of our roadmap and when you can expect certain content to release okay so and then once again thank you for your participation and enthusiasm we look forward to releasing on october the first blah 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 october 26 now if you're in early access like myself so yeah i'm not very happy with this um <laughs> in case you can't already tell I'm I, I'm quite frustrated with why they're delaying this. Um, it's good it's good that I now know for sure. We now know a hundred percent which uh, patch we're getting. We're basically getting this current patch that I'm playing on right now. So we're gonna have this here, the skill specialization. So from day one on our global launch, we know for a hundred percent we're getting this so yeah it's good it's good in that way um fantastic news on that the delay is not fantastic news and like i said um the good also news is they're going to be giving us a roadmap apparently a two-month roadmap so we have to look forward to that and of course the minute we get that i will cover that here on this channel but yeah anyway like share and subscribe leave me a comment down below and i'll catch you very very soon take care peace